nine bison cows, and one five-month-old bull calf released into a pasture of about 1,000 acres this past Sunday. The city of Fort Collins partnered with Larimer County to restore American bison to Colorado grasslands to enhance prairie ecosystems and visit their experiences. Mayor of Fort Collins, Wade Troxell, explains how it's possible for these bison to be welcomed to their new home. And because of community members and, uh, and the open space and natural areas taxes um, that are key to bringing back the bison to northern Colorado. You made the uh, Fort Collins soapstone natural area a reality and the Red Mountain open space reality uh, possible by voting in support of these natural areas and, and support of the sales taxes to do so. Following voters' support of the open space projects, a herd of disease-free bison needed to be transferred to Fort Collins. The most sought-after bison are in Yellowstone National Park because they hold original wildlife genetics as well as highly valuable genetic diversity. However, these Yellowstone bison often carry brucelliosis, a bacterial disease that can infect cattle, other wildlife, and people. The Colorado State University Reproduction and Biotechnology Laboratory joined with the USDA APHIS team to help propagate Yellowstone bison genetics with reproductive cells and bison embryos that are brucelliosis-free. Lead reproductive scientist Dr. Jennifer Barfield explains the challenges of creating disease-free bison. Like every step of the process is a challenge and you know then once you establish the pregnancies and you're waiting for the babies to arrive and you're hoping they're healthy I mean each part has its own kind of challenges and nerves that are associated um, but you know once we kind of got started and we were successful in generating calves um, you know it started to just kind of go a little little more easily but yeah it's been a really fun experience. Assistive reproductive technologies are being used to help expand the herd. Project leaders are monitoring four bison cows that will give birth to calves in the spring or summer of 2016 if their pregnancies are successful. Eventually the herd could grow naturally and contribute other animals to conservation herds in the United States.